forward in time, uh, we've been looking so far at the period called the, the Neolithic, and now I want to look much later, around about 3000 BC. من اسامی سری فتری که زود یعنی دو اتر کم عابین و فاس فور و حالا روی تپیش او بابی فتری که زود دو اتر کم 3000 BC ای 3000 سال پیش زین. And this is a time when we see some of the very first writing anywhere in the world, which happens in South Iraq mainly at at about this time. یعنی الله اما بوچی ام فتری الله بسی 3000 سال کلا او فتری بو کتیا نوسین لح بلا ما الله کنتری نوسین کان بین لهر شو نه کی جان یعنی تا اس نوسین دو زراو تو کتمنی ل 3000 سال کونتر بیا او یک کی شو شان او شو نه کتیا هم بو باشوری عراق بو so i'm very briefly going to present the results of some research that uh, dr amy richardson and i have been doing for the past uh, few years in which we've just published an article in the journal World Archaeology about. Ale esa zor ba kurti au natijana tampialam ka hi tu ejinere ka legal doktor Aimia kerjana lam fatri pe shuau ka paperi kian la serblau kerdo tawa la journal ka blain ku zda the top journal in archaeology. Yeah. Ale ani blain ha bashtrin journal archaeology pe World Archaeology. World Archaeology. Work ani alemi archaeology ani alemi shuena warnas. And the reason this is important, I think, in the context of today, is that when we look at early Mesopotamian administration, we're looking at the origins of something that affects all of our lives today. Because so much of what we do today, especially working in a university environment, but also in many other environments, is very much shaped by the need to keep records, to keep written records. حتى نسيني شو هو سيلاك يعني بعسك عليه راوك هو سيلاك بو بوني ريكورد يعني مو اشتري ريكورد كعلى دوكيمنت يكين على وكو بيستيمان بو دوكيمنت كردنا بو يعني لو كاتا شاكر هبو. and we can trace the origins of this practice of keeping written records all the way back to early Mesopotamia about five thousand years ago. على على تريسي وعلى حناوي أمانة طاني بقينو كاتك قرينو الزور بلين الله حناوي كيستاج يعني استعمل أنا مشتري ريكورد ده كينو مشتري دوكيمنت كين تريس كي يقرأ توبو كيو أصلا كي بابلين شو إن بي كي يا بابلين شو إن مين كيو شو إن كي هين أقرأ توبو الزور كون لميزو بتامي عيا دس بي كي دس خوش وعند مروني هم إزداد هم رابي no it's even before هم رابي yes the questions I want to think about today are um, how can we approach ancient Mesopotamian administration within the context of resilience? This is one of the key um, concepts that we're thinking about today, resilience. Ale, ni ke glush tani ke sedek in ke ilaqi ba masalim mizopotamia ke lokato sedek ilm concept ta ke ma bo sed idare ushti ana ke bo ma fumi resilience. Bara zam resilience. Resilience باب آو وصفی کم شه که اتک خیه توشی از ما بی و خلاصه تا باعث ریزیلینس. I think it means a lot of things, but essentially being adaptable to change in some way in order to survive. الله زور این اگریت او بس فکر کلا و آیا که تأقلم لقل تغییره. I was talking about the the concept about when someone experiences some difficulties and then they get back to that thing, and that is about, about adapting to the change. I take you for dinner, go to read it. I'm blind, I'll be in visit all the heck. I'll at one is bazoosh, you are zosh to get over. I'm a lamb, see, I can't am a bass. You can could read to a clunk, no legal to read it. And yeah, who are being illegal to read it? Who was a cast shake a shake out all the stuff, but was I a hollow set of a water had a wash resilience. So when we look at early Mesopotamian cities in South Iraq, places like Uruk, Ur, Eridu, etc., in the context of their times, they had to face a whole range of very challenging circumstances, including climate change. We know there were significant episodes of climate change. Engaging with neighbors over quite large areas who may be hostile at some times. 
and dealing with things like agricultural failure as well. Okay, now so a whole range of challenges. I like a city Bulgakana in the Bashuri Iraq, the Sharakana Urku. Uh, uh, or Aridu. Aridu. Or Aridu. And another climate change and uh, dealing with uh, hostile neighbors, for yeah, example. Yeah, he's down hostile. Like, he's a hostile. hostile. And then the third one. And for example, agricultural failure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, سيركين بالجهة كشاركاني وك كاني وكاتش تعاملي أنا لقل أم بعبلم كيش حاول شرخاني كي مش معنا أو أنيش تعاملي أنا لقل أكدوه. Just on that note, actually one time I was reading that Abraham, the thing that talks about migration, we're all affected by climate change. Yes, there are theories about theories. Yes, I mean just that they were associating the story with one of the apparently climate change. An episode of climate change. Yes, that's right. So on that very topic, I want to think today about how religion and cultic practice, that is the actual act of performing religious um, um, activities, uh, might be entwined with this idea of resilience. What role does religion and cultic practice play within resilience? I don't know the Kurdish word for cult, but that's a group that, you know, do a practice, a religious or Practices ritual or something. within a religion. Within a religion. Yes. religion. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the region we're, we're focusing on is, is South Iraq, this key area of the uh, Euphrates and Tigris, which of course had very different courses 5,000 years ago from their modern courses. You can see this is the Tigris today, this is the Euphrates today, but in blue we have their ancient courses, wow. which are very different. From today. <laughs> The black were the the new ones. The blue are the today. The old. Shina kan kona kebo. Yani dijlo furat kon awahatun. Majra kan wabwa. Palam leista am rashanan. So the um, the act of acts of bureaucracy were materialized in ancient Mesopotamia, <laughs> which we find um, in the archaeological record in the form of clay tablets. We have tens of thousands of clay tablets. And we also find seals and sealings, that is, pieces of clay with impressions of seals. Uh, <laughs> Yes, and for the cuneiform experts in the audience, I know we have a couple, um, I am showing the tablets with their original orientation, not with the orientation <laughs> 90 degrees changed, which happens later in time. What did it change the meaning? The orientation of writing changes um, in the second millennium BC, so a long time after this. Oh. Uh, 
2000 that means second millennium would yes, be after 2000 BC. Do I do Hazar BC or Gorao Itijala, but look at our boy and blame Itijahi Nusin. Yeah. So, working with uh, Amy, we've been applying portable X ray fluorescence, which Amy was talking about earlier in the context of Neolithic objects. We've also been applying this to Mesopotamian clay objects. Uh, bureaucratic objects. يعني نهاتم بس رأي مشترك قبل كبو بارتاني كبشان يوبا بيروكراسي هي نكتابه تحليلي كان بهمان أو جهازه. Essentially, we're looking for patterns of clay use city by city from ancient Mesopotamian administrative artifacts. الله لنا أو أو بارتش شو نوعي إداريانة طبعاً أنا لو وكشون وكوا شيء تشون كوا أرشيف كام دوز ده الله أرشيف أنا أنا بابلين لو بارتش شو نوعي أنا كإلاقي ب. سیستمی اداری با من سری هی شار سری نمط کن بزنن شار لعنتی چونی بوده لچ او شاره کیت رای سری نمط آنها کن و فرق آنها کن کلبه نی شار با شاره هوا لو کاته لو لو پارچانه او پارچانه که علاقه به اداره و هنی رخس نی اداری او هوا. And this is building on work that other people have been doing over the past five or ten years or so, looking at cuneiform tablets in order to detect patterns of movement. Of clay tablets and clay ceilings. Allah, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not and we're focusing very much on these extremely early periods in the history of writing, so-called proto-cuneiform writing. This is not an easy thing to do, actually, because the clays in South Mesopotamia are, generally speaking, quite homogenous. They're quite similar. So we have to focus on minor elements and trace elements. And then, yeah, please. Sorry. And then we use statistical analyses in order to tease out the differences between the groups of clays. mixed approach. qualitative quantity. In this uh, chart here, you can see using discriminant analysis, um, we have managed to distinguish groups of clays city by city. So this is Uruk, this is Farah, uh, this is Ur, this is Jambet Nasa. So we are able to... Um, see pattern. To make distinctive patterns, patterning, using these techniques. <laughs> لیرا 
یا حتی تحلیل کیمیایی زور فرق نمی‌کنه ولی به هندیش تا داره که بیه که بب تحلیل حسایی کدیان. So let's look at some of the material quickly um, before coming to some interpretations. One of the most significant sites for this early uh, development of administration and writing is Jemdet Nasser, just south of Baghdad. Uh, what's that? Jemdet Nasser, here. Yeah. جمدت ناصر. الله يهيك لو موقع عنيك بقى ولا زور مهمة بأمطة طوريك رؤيا ولا إدارة ولا نسينا منطقة ككتة ناي جمدت ناصر نزيكي بغا. And from this site we have about 245 clay tablets like this one in the so-called Uruk three or or proto-cuneiform writing style. بال. الله لم سايت تقريبا نزيكي دوستوش لوبينج بارتشي أو بلين هارك ولا لوحي قرين دوزيتو كب. پیوته ی اروکی سی ال استایلی پروتو یونیفور یعنی این هیروگلوفی یه تی پاج نوسینه که یعنی استایل کانی لوش دو شیوهایه. And these tablets were found in several rooms of this very large building excavated in the 1920s. آله املاح قرین آن دو زرایت ول شن جوری کی ناو امبنایه. Which dates back? What's the building? The, de the building dates to about 3000 BC. امبنا اکه بو تقریبا 3000 سال لامو پیش گرفته. And here, here are some of these tablets. Um, Thirteen of them have a very distinctive seal impression. So they have written signs, but they also have seal impressions from a cylinder seal that has been rolled over the clay. Cylinder seals, yeah. And when we look at the content of these tablets, they are listing small quantities of things like dried fruits and grape products. شتیتی از میرا، فروت یعنی بلای وکو درایت فروت یعنی خوردنی و شکر و لگال گریپ گریپ یعنی تیه. And the seal impression I mentioned, you can perhaps see it's a little difficult to see, but there are marks here from where a seal has been rolled over the surface of the clay while it is still soft. And here is the drawing of that seal impression. الله هي طبعا كاب جماعة بلينا هنا كي عم ورا كاكا شو أنا كي طبعا كاكا الله تقدر كي طبعا بلين لك شو دسي فيها كردوها بلين كم ور بلين بس سريع أروى كرولي كردوها بلين so it was cylinder شو كهين بوا بلين ها cylinderي بوا لولي بوا هاي بيني كل شون لسرشتي هي نرم سطحي هي بيج وشك بو بس سريع روش يعني وأسرع بيني يعني الله الله لنا وتحليل كردني أو يا أو جاي في وديارة and the, this scene is depicting the names of Mesopotamian cities, a list of city names with Ur, Larsa, maybe Nippur, maybe Uruk, Wilaya, Kesh, etc. So that was uh, Jemdet Nasa. Now, if we move slightly upstream, a site called Talukair, we also have some very interesting evidence relating to this issue of city names. So what did you find there? We, we have some evidence also relating to city names at about 3,000 BC. So here we're looking at a tablet that was purchased by the Vorderasiatisches Museum in Berlin in 1903, one of a group of 36 tablets at that time purchased by the museum. نا طبعا متكراري كمو بس هنا كي متحفي هي ألمانيا كلك راوة تقريبا سيف شش بارشي وهي كلك راوة سبعة سياق بدين شيء. And this tablet has the same seal impression as the one we've seen on the Jemdet Nasa tablets. الله أميش همان أو هنا لسرو كبل وموري لسرو كلا جندر نصرة دزراته نقشي همان أو شتاع ونم أو طبعة الله همان أو شتيل لسر أو سيل لسر أو نوع طبعة. 
but the writing on the tablet is, is a little bit different from the Jemdet Nasa ones. So maybe this doesn't come from Jemdet Nasa. Ale balam se ki nusina ka jala wi kelo mantiqa ka wahatwa. Yo jandad jandad nasr bu jandad nasra. Ale lo yo mantiqa bu ka tala wache rabti ba jandad nasra ona bi. Yani ala rasa la muraka ale ka chin shkla kan. Ale wi kelo se taba bu balam la nusina ka jawazan. So we conducted clay analysis of all of the uh, Berlin purchase tablets and you can see them in orange here. These are the tablets from Jemdet Nasa, and you can see they are very different groups. This is the, where's the one? Yeah, okay. this is the one, this is the one with the same seal impression as the Jemdet Nasa ones, but the clay is very different. So we think it comes from another site, not from Jemdet Nasa. So the material of the clay? Yes, the material of the clay is different. <laughs> ويك زوري بارتشكاني لا متحفة ألمانيا كي الله سيرة كي نم جوازية بين هاد دركة ولا ويا أما أنا بارتشي بوك يصعب شاني يعني كوتي أو سيلي ولا سرا الله حتى عارف كي ماتيريا الله كي فرقي هي مواد ذكية يعني بلين كليوي دروس كرا. And this means if we are right, this means that this this same seal is being used in two different places, and that's very important because we have only three or four examples of this from all of ancient Mesopotamia. برا زانوا. يعني ما بلين هالي راح حزا كان باسي وكان كتشون تحليلة كان كان نزادو يشون استنتاجة كعلن يعني يبغوا بحث كده بتعبتي بو مسألة إنترنتسبناري الله يبن ليرة أما أما سرنج راكية شبوي مثلا أنا بلين إيه دوشون بون موركان ليك شو بلامش تكاني عن جاب والله أما بلجية كبوي ما كوات سيرة كتل كلا دوش عري جاز همان سيرة أم بكاره ناوا طبعاً هو هلا بلجية بروش إداري دروس بون كأما الله اللي هموم يزو بوتامية سيبو تشوار كيسي 3 أو 4 تفو؟ يا الله سيبو تشوار كيسي 3 وابينين كسيلة كي بلين شويني جا بلام سيلة كان يان The same thing in terms of the same seal pattern but then different material No, the same seal but in more than one city Okay, but I mean you analyze that it is from a different city from the material and the location of the finding or I mean we only have three or four examples where we can say the same seal was used in two different oh, places. Okay. So we now have to think of an interpretation of how is this happening, what is happening. And I think we start by looking at the text themselves. We see that they are making small amounts of very specific items that are being recorded with this very important seal and the associated writing. Uh, <laughs> هر یک بوی دستیش بیاب کنی کم جرسی ناورو کی تبلت که کی خوی یعنی هر لحظه قرار نکه خوی که باسی چیه که سرکی کلی راچی کدوا چند پارت چند شتیان جمر دو و کوبلاه ریکورد کرده و که الله امشته های باو باوی او سیلا و باوی او ماره و. And we think there's a very important clue that survives as a seal impression on one of the tablets from Telukair, which we see here. This is a a drawing of a seal impression. On a tablet excavated at Telukair. So this is an impression of a of a seal on a clay tablet with writing. He's sealing he's cylindrical sealing and what this scene is showing is a boat, a very typical Mesopotamian boat, which is being pulled by animals, and people are guiding the animals along a, a river or a canal. So did they have logo? <laughs> what? Was that serving like a logo? Because this sounds like modern logo. A logo? Yeah, I mean in terms of, you know, transferring, you, because they made it a seal. Yes. So right. So well, that no, you're right. It, it, there is. There is it that could be. That's a new interpretation. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Allah, we am jala la sila ka chile sara barazan rasmi la sara. Yani bling moraka na roki moraka 
بس ميك بوا كراس ماكاش شي ام اي بلاين ام واتس ذا اتس ابوت بين بول هي كبابلين بلا ميكا بين بولد باي تود باي انيمالز باك حيوان يقرا لك يا شي but inside the boat we have a canopy and inside the canopy is a long haired seated figure and there are then um, people are offering something to that figure alega si aw rasmak awli aw nawrok aw mahtawai aw sila sirakin la naw bala makaa kanu piga bin yukola chatrek shte kasirakin fi gerek yani ma bla shakhsiyati ki tabinin qiji he ta na chukola blain baro bla jina على اش اواني تشار دول شي شتيخي يعني على اش بروب روبلين ما كسيك بو صاحب ده صلاتك بو يا شتيخي انا جاوم تيبني كما بوت مو هو كل لوجو ديال بكا يعني غير لوجو يا اخي تسر هاشتيك وي هاف لوتس اوف اذر ايفيدنس فروم ذس بيريود اند ليتر فور سيميلر ثينجز هابنينغ ويز بوتس على بلغيتر بينين لا كاتي دواترا كشتيك رويا العلاقه ببلا مو هبو هابلين بس ما كان غير بريس ان تيبني كان كان شكرا كان غراب بلا بلا ما كهر بينين هي كتياتي So our interpretation is that this figure in here is actually a cult statue, a religious statue of a god or goddess who is being paraded on a boat journey. And we, we have lots of evidence that this was a, a significant cultic practice within Mesopotamian religion. <laughs> برابط لم براكتيسيك ولا شيء كله خو اشتيق عادتيك هبوك كردو أنا بوي ببلا ما بردو أنا أم استاتوا بشوينا كنا كجرانو أنا. So we think that this evidence from Jemdat Nasa and Telukaya, there is other evidence also from Uruk and Fara that I don't have time to look at today. But we believe that we're able to reconstruct journeys of cult statues by boat from city to city. الا او بلغي كباسي كراب وكلب كلت براكتيس كلت كلتي كراول ك ام ستاتو ام بتبا لان بنا وبلا ما ببريسي لكن بيرجع لتل عقير ولا نجد شي جند ناصر جند ناصر الا الاخوار شولي راي بينين كال الشار بو شار كلواتي بلين لي هبي كاتو بلغي وكال بو اوايا كبرا لو شارانا على سرو مجراي برا ولا شوينك بو شوينك يتر And we, our interpretation is that the seal that was being used to roll over the clay tablets was traveling with the cult statue in the um, hands of the priests or priestesses who were traveling as part of this holy journey yeah. by boat. Yeah. لقال يا ناس سفري كده لقى بلا مكان هاتوا لقال أو كاهنو كهني كلا قال يا أبون لم هولي جوني يعني على أم أم سفر بيروزا كبحث أم كتيا أم بتبرع ولا شونيك أو بشونيك ترى لا تصور كن لقى خوانا أبو بيرنا وبلا مكان أبو بير. And in each city, the local people would make offerings to the cult statue, things like dried fruits, dried fish, other objects that would be consumed on behalf of the deity in these festivals. That would take place on a regular basis. Allah, I mean, I'm a bakari. I'm not a tafsir. He bought. Allah, the watch. I'm a. Has to be in the area. The area of the area. I'm not a bakari. I'm not a tafsir. I'm 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 a bakari. I'm not a خواهد نکه بکار هاتو، آوشی آوشتان که کرا ولت صور که نشیوازی درایت فروت، آوشتان، آو ناروکی که مسرا و آو یا و آو کلا بلین الله تری و آوش خواهد نم، آو می آوش بوانه لواتی الله آو بی آوانه بی که یرا و با کل تکب و جماعتی بم که این وشی کل نم امبل ما آبون. So we see this very much as a strategy of resilience that Mesopotamian cities are pursuing together. Uh, as a way of maintaining social cohesion over very large areas in the face of challenging uh, circumstances. Social cohesion is 
تبعي كوهيشن يعني هاك اشتياق يا كجريه سوشيال يعني هي اجتماعي يعني وزن تبعين اجتماع اجتماعيه في كوي كومالات يلا بكاري انا ولا اشي امش تكنيكان بكاري انا ولا برو كلت كان استفاده انا كلت كردو بوي بطانه لم شارو بو شار هم لناحي اجتماعي ويكتري راح هم بيكو بمنو ريزيليان بلين تحملي او تحدي challenge you start to go out to Aklum can be a Mesopotamia or Qatar. So in other words, it's it's a, a large scale way of um, enhancing social sustainability. Ale amaj ba chie bini ba ale ba shiwe gla shiwa kan ragaq bo bo bashkdini social sustainability. Ma wa tana la ilaqati shimaj kwa sustainability shad ni jari wa qazihi handasiya qazihi bi bi wal kujari qazihi shimaiya. Yani ba mafumi khalq chon. توانیتی رابطه کردن با مفهومی از شیرین و شدن به یک تری بلند یعنی بلند علاش کن علوگار کرد ولی لحظه رجای و بوی سوشال کوهیشن و بوی سوشال سستینابلیتی یعنی اتیف کردن و. So thank you very much and if you would like to know more, the article that Amy and I have published is available open access online. رکلام کردن لکنالی اسپیو اچ دی پیوندی بکن بمجمره تلفون انوان 